everyone, I'm Irma and being aware of trends is always crucial. And a trend that doesn't seem to lose its influence is the parallax effect. So in this video, we'll look into everything regarding the parallax effect. What is it? Reasons to use it and reasons not to. Types of parallax effect, including some beautiful examples and a little tutorial on how to use the parallax effect in Visual Composer. In short, the parallax effect is a technique that creates a 3D scrolling effect, where the background moves in a different speed than the foreground. That splits the website into multiple layers, creating an illusion of depth. Most commonly, one layer would be the background and the other layer would be the content. As cool as the parallax effect may seem, it has its upsides and its downsides. So let's start with the good things. The parallax effect can increase engagement and credibility. When people see your content moving, it's not the standard, so you can achieve the wow effect in seconds. People get involved in your website instantly, so they're more engaged. When you're telling a story with your website, the parallax effect creates a powerful visual environment that allows to highlight the parts that you want and really draws attention. Parallax effect can improve bounce rate. If you don't know, the bounce rate is the percentage of visitors that leave your site instantly without looking at more pages. And that's not really what you want, unless you have a one-page website, of course. By adding the parallax effect, you make your content more interesting and that can make people stay on your page a lot longer. Now, let's talk about some of the cons that the parallax effect can cause. First of all, people don't like scrolling for a long time, so sometimes the parallax effect can only increase this issue. You might have a long page with crazy cool parallax effects, but keep in mind that your visitors might find it frustrating to scroll through all of that. Parallax effect is a very content-heavy effect to use, so it can reduce your site's performance and the load time. But there are some solutions to it. You can reduce the amount of content, it's hard, but possible. Always, always compress your images, choose the best hosting you can, and set up caching. Another downside to the parallax effect is that it's not always responsive. Some browsers might not recognize the cool and advanced effects you've created. So be ready to have a backup plan for some mobile devices if needed. SEO is tremendously important for your websites, but unfortunately, the parallax effect is not 100 SEO friendly. Although I leave a very good blog post in the description below that shares some solutions to this. Now that we've gotten this out of the way, let's move on to a more visual part of the video. There are some specific types of parallax effect that are very popular at the moment, so let's look at them in more detail. Parallax background scroll is the most commonly used. It's when there's a fixed background and moving content, or the other way around. So let's jump straight to examples. The first example is by NASA here. As you can see, there are two layers of this site. The first is the astronaut that stays fixed and the content that keeps moving in the scrolling speed. That really creates a cool effect of depth here. Another cool example is a portfolio of this UX designer, Melanie. She's also separated the site into layers, but one's on the right, one's on the left. The right side is moving in scrolling speed, but the left side stays fixed. The next type of parallax effect is the fade in parallax. And it's right in the name. The premise stays the same. The background moves in a different speed than the content. But one difference content fades in. And here's how it looks. This page uses very subtle parallax effect. The images move slightly slower than the page. And as you can see, they fade in there at the bottom. Another example is Hello Monday here. Very similar to the previous one, very subtle parallax effects and the images fade in. This is a great way to use the parallax effect without it becoming overpowering. Another type of parallax effect that is not very overpowering is the zoom in or zoom out parallax effect. It's when one layer, usually the background, zooms in or zooms out while scrolling. New York Times uses this effect in their page. And as you can see, when I scroll, the background slightly zooms in. Just slightly, but enough to notice. This is a nice way to make a page more engaging without the effects taking the whole attention. 
The content is still the main part here. Mouse-based parallax is another type, but this one is more attention-grabbing than the previous ones. This effect focuses on the mouse moving the content. Let me show you how that looks. So this beautiful page uses the effect where one part of the page, the boy stays fixed while the islands follow the movements of the mouse. While very subtle, this really creates a unique look. Tilt parallax is yet another one that's right in the name. A layer of the content tilts, usually with mouse movement. It's most commonly used for separate sections of the content, like pricing tables or feature descriptions. Let me show you. Here you can see exactly that most of the content moves as usual, but here these sections tilt. This really creates a cool 3D effect. Kick is another website using this effect, but the difference is they use it with a glare. That's another effect, a part of the tilt, that gives it a real feel of three dimensions. The last type I'm going to look at is custom parallax effect. It has no category. It has a category of its own and it's completely unique. So Doc Studio has split the page into two layers, the background, and the content, and the content keeps moving in the scrolling speed while the background keeps zooming out, then it zooms in, it even goes over the content at one point here. So this creates even a lifelike effect, if I can say so myself. We Cargo uses a simple parallax effect in principle, but to the background, there's a sort of distortion effect with mouse movement. It creates a very interactive sort of feeling here. So these were the types of parallax that are most commonly used. And now we can move on to something more practical. And I'm pretty sure you know what it is already. We're going to work with Visual Composer. So if you're using Visual Composer, I'm happy to tell you that there's a special designated part in the design options of rows and columns, especially for the parallax effect. So let me show you how that works. First, I've got this simple resume here of this designer with a couple of sections. And I would like to apply the parallax effect here to this image. I want to remove in a different speed. So how to go about it. We have to open the design options of this row where the image is a background of. As you can see, it's a background image. And here's the parallax section. So first of all, you can choose either you want the parallax effect to be applied to all devices, or you can choose custom devices. So to apply the effect, simply enable this toggle and that will open the options. So here are all of the parallax options we have here in Visual Compose. All right, let's start with simple parallax. This is how it looks. As you see, the image now moves in a different speed than the scrolling speed here. So, but there are some things we can change. And first of all, that's the speed. This is quite a dramatic move here. So we can change that to a smaller speed making the effects a lot more subtle. Another, another thing you can do is reverse the effect. So then the image is going to move on the other direction. Okay, now we can move on to simple with fade. It's right in the name, but for this effect to show up, we need to add some content. Let's add a simple text block. Artist, for example. Just quickly, let's make it bigger, white. And my favorite font. Okay, what we can do now, as you can see what happens, that's the effect, <laughs> the text fades out slowly here. You can apply that to any row and any column. If you would apply here, let me show you how that would look. Enable parallax, simple with fade. As you can see, fades out 
All right, moving on. Let's go back to this row here. Let's try the next. So mouse move is the next type of parallax effect you can choose in Visual Composer. So it's what name suggests. It moves with the mouse, but it works for the background, not the content. As you can see, that's how it looks. And as with the previous one, you can reverse it. Then the content will follow the mouse movements. So the next one again, right in the name, it's tilt. So it will tilt. Very simple, although this effect does not look so good in this big of an area. So we can move on to, let's say this, let's apply it to this column here, enable parallax, tilt. It looks much better here, makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? All right, so we have four tilt effects actually. So let me show you how those look here. Tilt with glare, we covered this already. It was in one of our examples. So it's just a tilt, but with a glare, creating that really cool 3D effect. Another one, is still reverse. So as you can see, it tilts where the mouse is going. Simple as that. So another one is still reset. What that does is, as you can see, it stays. The image stays in the position where I leave the mouse. In the previous examples, it went back to the original, the default shape. But here, as you can see, I move here, it stays like that. All right, we've got just one more left. Let me show you. It's the mouse follow animation. For that, you will need more than one background image. So let's quickly add it. Let's add any image here. So whenever you move the mouse, the image changes. Any subtle movement changes the image. You can add a lot of images here and it would all look great. And we're done! Now you should be familiar with all things Parallax. So make sure to get your hands on the effect while it's still so popular. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more guides like this. And thank you all for watching. See you on the next one. Bye!